Hello everyone, this is Jan from Broken Rules. Um, I'm going to show you the in-game editor of Secrets of Reticon. If you already own the alpha, you have immediate access to that one. Um, I just start right into the game and get you covered with the fundamental basics of the editor. So pretty much at any time of the um, of the game, you can press the start button on your controller or escape on your keyboard, which fires up the main menu. And by navigating to editor, you can open the editor. Who thought that? Um, with right clicking and dragging, I can move around the level. And now I can select stuff by clicking on it and dragging it around. Uh, Pressing the Alt button on your keyboard makes it rotatable around the pivot. See in the blue dots down here. Um, I'll just delete the shot creator. I won't need it now. And also move this tree a little bit on the side because we want to have more space in the middle. All right. Um, all the tutorial text are meaningless to me. One method you can um, add new stuff to the levels is by using our templating system. Um, there is a tab over here saying templates and you can basically instantiate everything um, that's, that ship, ships with the game. I'll start with some creatures because they're the most fun. Um, add a buzzard for example and before anything goes wrong, you never know, um, it's best to save the game. Um, by pressing Command S, you save it, and this new package uh, dialog opens up, which basically basically means you save like the whole state of the game as it is as a new package, uh, and I'll call that uh, fooling around, something like this. Around, yeah. Uh, press save, so it's not part of the game of the main game anymore. Um, it's kind of my own game in the game, kind of. Okay, so we have our basic setup here. Um, I just close the editor by pressing Command E and pressing Command P, unpauses the game, and I drop right into the level and pull around with the buzzard that I knew created. So he's doing what he ever does. He's just basically a jerk, um, attacking me and all the other animals around him. Um, oh, damn it! Like also the small birds. Yeah, he's really, he's really not in a nice mood actually. He's kind of having a bad day. So I'll just pause and add some more thorn bushes because I don't want to just um, have him hit me all the time. I also want to be able to defend myself. Um, one thing I already mentioned is the templates. The other thing I can produce new stuff is by obviously copying old stuff. So I just take this. Um, Thornbush over here and copy paste it somewhere else in the level. You probably notice there is only an empty box I'm dragging around here. This is basically the collision shape. When I press F3, you see all um, collision shapes. Pressing Alt to rotate it, um, scale it a little bit to make it easier to throw him into. And because we also want to see stuff um, without the debug rendering, I also need the visual deco elements, which I copy separately and place over the collision zone. So yeah, just like that. Make it bigger. Fit it in the box. All right. Close the editor. Continue. Come on. Now I have something to defend myself. Oh, if I'm able to throw him in, please. Oh shit. Okay, it's not optimal, but it still works out. Decide to die. If you want. Yes. To make stuff even more crazy, uh, I just want to showcase a few of the, the, the creatures. I'll add some bees. Bees. Mosquitoes. Ah. This would be awful. Some rabbits. Rabbit. Male rabbit. No rabbit. They always need to go in. Who cares? Of course. What I also want to add is a lynx. He's awesome. Yeah. Just center it where I want to have him. Instantiate him. 
Come on. Go. Yes, here he is. Put him on the floor. Save the level. Close the editor. Unpause and see what happens. Oh yeah, all those the, the rabbits are mating. Creating some slivers and some babies for me. Okay, come over here. Here is the action. <laughs> He's really busy with these these robins. Buzzard as well. They're all Oh no, he killed himself. Such a, such a fool. <laughs> Alright, um see if the bees work. Oh, they're over here. Ah mosquitoes! Don't have any water to kill them, so yeah, I just have to leave them alone. Ah, okay, now oh. oh, he's going. All right, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the little introduction of Ginkgo, our in-game editor for Secrets of Reticon. Uh, we'll cover more of the in-depth features um, in later videos. Just um, subscribe to our channel, um, leave in the comments what you want to see next. Um, we have some ideas, but also really want to have your feedback on this. So. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. And spread the word about the alpha. Alpha!